Now we'll practice some ankle tracking in a supine position. So lay down on your back with a neutral pelvis, knees bent and feet flat and have a strap nearby. Take a breath here. And before we start the ankle tracking, reach your arms overhead along the floor. Stretch out those elbows, lengthen the rib cage, lengthen the abdomen. Let your pelvis be relaxed and heavy. Buttocks is relaxed. And then lasso your right foot with the strap and place the strap over the ball of the foot. And then kick your heel up towards the ceiling, but keep your knee a little bit bent. Elbows wide, shoulder blades sliding down the back, chest open. And now start to point and flex your foot. Exploring the range of motion in the ankle here, flexing and extending the ankle. So press the ball of the foot up towards the ceiling, pressing into the strap, and then use your hands to help you pull the ball of the foot down, pulling that strap down. And then press the ball of the foot back up towards the ceiling and continue in this way. And as you dorsiflex your foot, pull the heel up towards the ceiling. And as you plantar flex the foot, press the ball of the foot up. Long spine, relaxed abdomen, relaxed buttocks here. And then release and place the right foot down and now lasso the left foot with the strap, taking the strap over the left ball of the foot and kick your left heel up, keeping your knee bent here, long spine, elbows wide, and start to track your ankle here, flexing and extending at the ankle joint. Use your hands to pull the strap down into the ball of the foot as you lengthen the heel up. And then press the ball of the foot up towards the ceiling. Flexing and extending. Exploring the range of motion of the ankle. Creating more range of motion as you explore your current range of motion. Lubricating the ankle joint here. And then release and place your left foot down. And reach your arms overhead again to re-lengthen your trunk. Thighs are parallel. And then rest your arms by your sides. And now we'll practice Supta Padangustasana 4. So have your strap nearby, extend your arms, extend your legs, roll the thighs inwards a little bit, ground the thighs, and then keep that sense of length in your trunk as you lasso the right heel, extend the right leg all the way up to the ceiling, and extend the left leg along the floor, long in the low belly, outer right hip moves away from the right waist, You can have a bent right knee here if that's better for you. Long spine. And then grab onto the strap with the left hand only and take your right hand onto the outer right thigh hip area. And see if you can pull that outer right thigh and hip area away from the right waist. And keep that happening as you extend the right arm out to the right and let the right leg move over to the left just about a foot. So you're starting to cross the leg over towards the left side, keeping extended in that right knee, keeping long in the right waist. 
and then come back to center and we'll switch sides. Now lassoing the left heel, reach the left leg up, again bending the knee if that's better for you, and extend the right leg long, profound internal rotation at the very top of that right thigh to keep the groin relaxed. Long belly, long in the front of the spine, elbows wide, shoulder blades sliding down the back. And then grab onto the strap, very close to the foot with the right hand only. And the left hand will come to the outer left hip and thigh, encouraging that outer left hip to move away from the left waist, staying long in the left waist. And extend your left arm out to the left as you pull the leg over to the right side, just about a foot. Stay open in the backs of the knees. Pulling that leg across the body, but not too much. So the sacrum should stay grounded. Enjoying the stretch in the outer thigh here. And then come back to center. And then release, bending both knees, feet flat. Reach your arms overhead and then stretch both your legs out, internally rotating at the tops of the thighs, lengthening through the arms, stretching the knees and the elbows. Now we'll practice a foot stretch. So come onto your hands and knees and bring your knees and shins and ankles together and then tuck your toes under and bring some weight back towards your feet. So there's some weight on your toes and then back your hips up all the way so that you're sitting on your heels. Have your arms extended by your sides and lift the spine from bottom to top and think of the soles of the feet spreading. Pulling the heels back, sitting the hips right down on the heels. Enjoy the stretch in the feet and the toes. Steady focus here, steady breathing. Gather your ankles towards each other. Give a little squeeze of the outer hips towards each other. And then come on to hands and knees and release. Now we'll practice Janu Shirshasana. So have a blanket folded that you can sit on. And sit your buttocks down onto the blanket and stretch your legs out in front of you and pull the flesh of the buttocks back so that you can sit up tall on the center of your sitting bones. Fingertips down, shoulders back and then bend the left knee out to the side so the left sole of your foot comes very close to the right inner thigh and use your fingertips on the floor to help you Point the midline of your torso directly over the midline of your right leg. And then continue that action to twist fully to the right. So the left hand is on the right knee, right hand is on the blanket, twisting to the right for a moment. And then start to come forward and grab onto the outer right foot with your left hand. The right fingertips are on the floor to support you and start to lengthen your rib cage forward, lengthening the front ribs as much as the back ribs towards the right foot. Relax and release the left buttock back and down. Think of the whole belly sliding over to the right so that the midline of your belly comes directly over the midline of the right thigh and then lengthen your belly forward even more. Pull the right thigh bone back towards the hip socket. Ground the right thigh bone down. So the deep low belly slides to the right and then lengthen both sides of your rib cage straight forward directly towards the right foot. Using your hands to help you. And then inhale and come all the way up to center. Take the left knee up to the ceiling and then stretch your left leg long. And then pull the right knee out to the side, connecting the right sole of the foot to the left inner thigh. Both sets of fingertips on the floor now to help you start to 
Turn your body so the midline of the trunk is in line with the midline of the left leg. And then continue this as a twist, twisting the belly around to the left and the rib cage, right hand to outer left knee, left hand on the blanket, turning. And then see if you can use that space you made to come forward, grabbing onto the outer left foot with your right hand and let your belly recede and slide over to the left. So the midline of the belly is in line with the midline of the left thigh and start to come forward even more. So the belly recedes and slides to the left and lengthens forward. Sides of the waist lengthen forward as well. And let the right butt cheek release back and down. And continue to find more space in your trunk as you fold forward. Pulling the left femur back towards the hip socket. Grounding the left thigh bone down. And then bend the right knee up to the center. And then come out of the pose. Have two folded blankets now for a wonderful open twist Marichyasana variation. So stack your blankets and sit on the edge of your blankets as you see here. And set yourself up so that you're really sitting on the front edge of the sitting bones. Extend your left leg forward and bring your right foot to the outside of your right sitting bone so that you're right leg is basically in a squat and then bring the right elbow to the inner right knee and take a twist to the left and now reach your right elbow down reach your right shin bone down reach the left thigh bone down and go up with the inner trunk ascend the spine from bottom to top and twist to the left as you press your right elbow into the right inner knee so press that right arm into the knee to help you turn the rib cage to the left. And now you'll reach forward with the right arm and grab onto the outer left foot using the left hand near the outer left shin to help support you and take a forward bend here. Let the rib cage flow forward towards the left foot. and then release yourself out of this forward bend and get ready to switch sides. So extend your right leg forward and bend your left knee deeply so that your left heel is just outside the left sitting bone, a little wider than the sitting bone. And then take the left elbow into the left inner knee and a twist to the right. So your right hand comes onto the blankets behind you. Go down with the left elbow as you go up with the left ribs. Go down with the right thigh bone as you lift the low belly. Go down with the left shin bone as you lift the spine from bottom to top and then press your elbow into the left inner knee and turn to the right. Turn the belly and the rib cage. Breathing here as you deepen the twist. And then come out of the twist and elongate the left arm forward to grab the outer right foot. Use the right hand on the floor outside your right shin to support you and take a forward bend here. Let the left ribs and the right ribs flow forward. And then come on up out of the pose. Now we'll practice a supported fish with a bolster underneath the rib cage and have a strap nearby for your hands. 
So lay back so the bolster supports you underneath your thoracic spine. Release the flesh of the buttocks away from the lower back, away from the back ribs. Knees bent and feet flat to support you and then grab your strap and reach your arms up and overhead, hands holding the strap at shoulder distance apart. Enjoy this nice extension of the spine as you lengthen through the front of the spine and lengthen the abdomen and then extend your legs Stretch the legs and stretch the arms. Allow yourself to be supported by the bolster here. Become internally absorbed here. As you relax and release and gently Guide yourself to lengthen a little more. Smooth and steady inhalation and a steady exhalation. And then bend your knees one at a time, place your feet flat and roll to your side. Pass through your side to come out of the pose, coming on up to sit.